If you haven't noticed already, TikTok effects are getting really popular over the world. They are everywhere and they're so much fun. Today we are diving into Effect House, the amazing tool to create custom AI effects for TikTok. With Effect House, you can make your own video stand out, attract more followers and even make some good cash. So buckle up and get ready to learn to create awesome TikTok effects that will help you to take your social media game to the next level. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to stay up to date to all the latest tips and tricks from Joystick Lab. Let's get started. All right, so first you need to go to effecthouse.tiktok.com. I'll put this link in the description and you need to download this software for Windows or Mac. Remember in Mac, you need to select which Mac you're using, M1, M2 or Intel. And the installation process is really straightforward. I'm not going to go into that. You can download and install that software in your computer. Once you have downloaded and installed the Effect House, just create a new project. And when the project opens, it should look something like this. On the left hand side of this screen, we can see we have something called the hierarchy. This is all the necessary object that we are going to use in this project. Currently, there is only a uh, light and there is a camera. And then we have something called assets. These are all the assets that you're going to use into your project. Something like 3D models, audio, any image, any text and things like that. Beside that, we have something called the visual scripting. This is the logic of this project. Currently, we are not going to write any script, but the more advanced you will go, you have to write some sort of script. On the right hand side, we have a preview window to see the output of the project. And then finally, we have something called inspector on the right hand side, which is going to show you the property of an object when that's selected. So for example, if I select the main camera, we can see that we now have a few uh, component in the right hand side that basically gives us the property of this camera. And in the middle, we can see there is a scene window. This is where you edit anything that you add to your project. On the top of our um, screen, we have also a few more options. We have the home screen. Then we have a learning uh, window. This is some resources that the Effect House provides to learn this tool. And then we have a asset library option. So I'm going to first go to this asset library and I am going to import a glass. So we can search for assets. You can simply click on this download button to import it to your project. All right, so now we have the assets downloaded into the assets folder, right? Next, we are going to create a new um, tracking. So we are going to track the head. So we're going to add an object, go to air tracking and head tracker. Now this head tracker has multiple objects. So we have a head that is a dummy head that you can see in here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to simply drag and drop this neon party glass, this object down to the head. So if I put it under the head, you can see it looks something like this really big, right? Now, this might be a good time to talk a little bit about the navigation in the scene window. So using your mouse, if you scroll up or down, you can zoom in or zoom out. Using your right mouse click, if I just move the uh, mouse, you can rotate this screen. Using your middle uh, mouse, if you click that, you can pan, all right? Now, what we need to do as well, we need to understand how we can scale this whole thing down. So like I said in the um, starting of this tutorial that we have some control over the object on the right hand side. So on the right hand side, we have the inspector, which gives you the option to uh, edit the scale, the rotation and things like that. But there is also another option when you select an object that is right in here. The first one is basically the movement. So if you want to move this object, you use that, which is currently selected. So that's why you can see this gizmo here. 
uh, you can move them in three direction x y and z if we want to rotate this we need to select the second option which will give you this um, spherical shape and you can rotate this third one is the scale so we're going to use that to scale it down so it fits our face and you can set it um, using the like you can just look into the output in the right hand side to see if it basically looks good or not so I'm just going to scale it down and position it in a location so it makes sense all right so as you can see now we have a pretty nice um, glass and when the user show his or her face he's going to see this effect this is just a beginning you can make more complicated stuff and we're going to look into all those in the coming tutorials so after you're done with this uh, now you can upload this to TikTok. you can click on the right hand side there is option called submit or you can even re preview this on TikTok before submitting i'm going to click on the submit button and that will take us to this new screen where you need to give it a name so i'm just going to do hello TikTok. And then there we are going to just use a hint that is show your face and we are going to upload this to the uh, TikTok center right and you can see there is a uh, like if you try to upload it also need to have some sort of icon so we can grab an icon and then you can just click on upload All right, so that's all about it today. So let me know in the comment how you created your first effect, share your effect with your friends in here, support each other into your TikTok, and I'm happy to see how you go from here. I'll see you in the next video where we are going to discuss more topics like this. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get updated uh, news, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.